Hi, I'm Keith Gourlay, and I'm an R&D scientist at Performance Biofilaments. So we're working on nanocellulose technologies, which is basically wood fibers that have been broken down smaller and smaller to make these long, thin nanoparticles. And what we want to do is we want to use that to reinforce plastics to make them stronger and lighter. Right now, the problem is that the nanocellulose surface doesn't interact well with the plastics. So what we need to do is we need to modify the surface of the nanocellulose so that it interacts and bonds strongly with those polymers. So what we're trying to do with this technology is reduce the amount of plastics that we're producing and using on the planet. I'm Jack Sadler. I'm fortunate to be the professor of forest products biotechnology at uh, UBC. So this particular project with uh, Performance Biofilaments is really looking at a higher value application for uh, some of BC's pulp fibers. We think there's a novelty and we can also displace traditional products. I used fiberglass as an example. I know the automotive companies are very interested in this product in terms of how it can be applied. The work that our team at UBC is looking at is much more fundamentally about what chemicals can be used, what's actually happening to the fibre and really what conditions would be used to, to bind these two materials together. So really bringing together that combined expertise is one of the big strengths that UBC brings to this more applied project. And this Ignite funding is going to be that final compounding and mechanical testing to validate this technology and make sure that we're getting the specifications on it that we need and getting our material actually out into products. This technology is one piece in the puzzle of what's going to change people's lives moving forward into the future. And we're working on developing new applications in a variety of different spaces for these materials. 